Good evening, everyone. Welcome again to tonight's show of issue nine and ten. And here is Penny. Hello, everyone. How are you all? Hi, Steve. Hey, Steve. So I have to say the weather is beautiful in Newport. It's raining and the temperature has dropped. It's fantastic. As you all know, I don't like the heat. Right, shall we get on to the build? Or... Yeah, no problems. I'll just change my screen so that I can't remember how to do it now. Bear with me. <laughs> right, okay, I'm ready whenever you are then. Right, let me change my angle. Right. So there doesn't look so many parts this week. No. So we are doing the components for the right hand side of the head. And we should have uh, two right sides of the head. One looks like a round bit with a hole in the middle. That looks like it. And the second bit looks like a round bit sort of sort of brainy yes that's correct yes yeah yeah and um there should also be three pm two by four mil screws one of which will be spare that's correct brilliant so i've already put the spare one in my pot yeah now i'm assuming they're metal parts right no this is metal okay and this one's plastic okay right well it looks good anyway Yes. Yes, yeah, the first piece. Yes, this is the metal. The piece that you think would be metal will have to be metal. Is actually plastic. <laughs> yes, it's well, as well. You think of the weight of it. If everything's in metal. Yeah, I mean the item's going to be pretty heavy. Yeah, I mean if it's all chromed up all nicely, it doesn't matter which we, what it is really, does it? Yes. All right. So, and this is the right side. Right. Oh, oh! I've accidentally scrolled my wheel and I've lost the page. There we go. All right. So, so I am ready whenever you are. Okay. So what's step one? Right, so oh, let me get the right size. Sorry, I'm really bad at this, aren't I? Right, so step one is to take the right hand part, right head part A, which is the part with the hole in it, and the right head yep. part B, both supplied with this issue, and place them on the work surface C insert. From behind insert part nine through the opening in part one yeah so basically so i think like that. i can guess what stage two is going to be yeah right yes so we're on the on the underside on the instructions where have they gone oh there we go turning, after turning the parts over Note how the screw holes in two align with those on the reverse of one. And I can yes. see one hole. I can't see the second one. I can get, oh, I can see it now. Yeah. It's just kind of, um, you, you've kind of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Defuzzed 
let's use that word okay so stage three i'm going to assume is yeah these, these are really nice very very detailed instructions so i'm, I'm going to bring up stage three and four so step three is to insert one pm two by four mil screw part three into each of the screw holes and then step four we'll be using a cross point screwdriver tighten up those screws guess hello fleetwood how are you what's your weather like fleetwood tends to have um, hi fleetwood fleetwood tends to have the weather that i'm going to get in about three days so um i can sort of get an early warning weather forecast from him And the type of screw head is actually a J1, not a sorry, J1. J0. J0, so oh. it's a slightly smaller screw then. Yes, to um, the JP screws and root master. Yeah. Yes, we know all about those. Huh? It's monsoon season, according to Fleetwood. Yeah, that sounds like Newport would welcome that kind of weather. I remember when I first came to Newport, I was an uh, agency driver for four months. The day I turned up, it was it was so hot I thought I was going to melt. And then the day I started work, it rained every single day until my last day. Right. They're nice, loosey tightened sort of thing. Okay. So you've just put them in enough to bite, have you, just to make sure they're in properly? Yes, well, okay. I was holding that. I was had that, and basically, I was just basically turning it that way, right? And so uh, it roughly felt tight. Yeah, and I didn't turn it anymore. This was something that Horlick brought up before, wasn't it? If you hold it in a certain yeah. way, it'll stop because you, the way you're holding it, you're not actually able to to apply too much strength to it. Yes. So, are you going to tighten those up fully? Or are you going to uh, leave them a little bit loose? I think they're fully tight. That that's not wobbling. Okay. As that's a plastic piece, and you probably end up squashing the plastic. Right. Okay. So you've actually left. Oh, uh, you've actually called them fully tightened. Then. Yes. Okay. Then. So just like when I do plastic, you just keep going until it tightens. You don't need to over tighten it. Correct. Lovely. Right. Well, it, the screws are going to metal, and I think I've tightened them enough. Right. Okay, so that's saying that that's how the part should look once it's finished. Um, so I'm going to – you know me. I, I do like my objectional questions. Um, that is the stage complete. That's that's your, your, your whole magazine. Do you find that disappointing, or are you happy with what you've got? Um, it could be more, but as I'm slightly behind, the next one you do get slightly more when you do the other side. Yeah. I mean, I know that we um, we like to look at the whole model and the price, um, but would you say that's an eight ninety nine issue? I, mean, um, I, I think it looks good from here, and I know that it goes on to form part of, of the rest of it, but... Um, what do you th I mean, obviously, you're the one who's got it in your hand. Yeah, so I, I, to me, I think so. Right. Brilliant. So, shall we go on to... Issue 10? Stage t issue 10? Yeah, not a problem for me. Ah, now there looks a few new parts, and there looks some, like some parts that I recognise there. Um, yes. so we've got the inner eye sockets and the right middle finger. So correct me if I'm wrong, that will give us a third finger. Yes. Right. So we have got, ready whenever you are, we have got an inner right. eye socket left and an inner so eye socket right. They're pieces one and two. How would you tell They are plastic. About? Right. How would you tell them apart? Um, I have no idea. Yeah, I'm looking at the. It's probably. Yeah. It's probably. Um, 
Hang on, let's... They're looking at oh, the picture. They look a little bit more rounded at the top, and the the bottom seems to go off at a bit of an angle. So not quite an oval. No, that's a good question. I reckon it goes. Yeah. I suspect the left won't go into the right, and the right won't go into the left. Yes, right. I reckon it's that way around. Okay. Yeah, I think that because I can see, obviously, my cursor is not showing on your. Um, I don't know if you, you have you got my my picture up at the moment. I'm on mine at the moment to public. Right. Okay, if you look at the um, the bottom middle, the part How much of, yours. Okay, if you look round there, round about where my cursor is, you can see it comes down. It goes across. And then it kind of starts to slowly come up, whereas the top, yes. the top seems a little bit more of an even angle. So it's it's kind of a, a, a an odd pear shape. You've got this is nicely rounded there, and on the left it's nicely rounded, whereas on the bottom you see you've got this bigger bit there, and then it just starts to go up again. That's what it looks like from the picture. Um, obviously, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, so to speak. Yes. Okay. So, piece three. Oh, right. Yeah, I've not listed them in order. Um, piece three is the right middle finger A, and that looks a bit like the fingertip. Yes. Remember, it serves me right. And yep. then you've got piece four is the right middle finger. And yep. that looks like it's got a single hole in it and a little, um, like, uh, what do you call it? I'm trying to think of the word. Locating that's, pest. That's, right. That is that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. Um, and then you've got 10-5, which is right middle finger C, and that looks a little bit like a bicycle chain link to me. I, I, I know I'm using some strange descriptions. No, I pretty understand that, yes. Right. Right, and that's that one. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. And then piece six looks very similar, but that middle piece is a little bit lengthened. Yes, that's... Which is, and that's going to be the right middle finger D. Yes. Yeah, that's the one. And then that should leave 10, seven, which is the right middle finger E, um, which has just got another one with a... Well, it's got two holes. It's got one, one at one angle and one at a different angle. That is this one. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, try and get it in shot. Looking at the screen, of course, it's back to front, of course. Yeah, oh, it's difficult, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So then you've got three finger connector A's. And I'm assuming these yes. are the bits that are going to be little sm small tubes with a little hole in the bottom. Yes, yep. larger end. Then you've got nine, which is a knuckle connector, which they look like the same as the finger connectors, but slightly longer. That's correct, yes. And that leaves four piece tens, which is finger connectors, and they look like they're going to go in the other end of 10, a, uh, 10 8 and 10 9. Yes, that's correct. Right. Okay. As again, within this issue, most of that I won't be using. Right. Okay. So I think I know what's coming on the next page. So we have more pieces. So you say some of these are, are replacements? Yes. <laughs> right. So we've got three fifth finger connector bolts. Uh, we've got fifth finger knuckle connectors. So they're obviously going to be replacements. And then obviously the pins will be yep. replacements. And then we've got three little sheaths and then a fourth sheath. So this is the same as last week in that you had the original pieces, but you've bought an extra issue of a, a later issue. 
because you feel the sheets are working better yes yeah okay so that now makes a lot of sense to me last week it didn't make a lot of sense until you actually started to put them together and then it's like oh yeah i understand now yes right so while you're getting your bits ready i'm getting my instructions ready <laughs> okay and i'm sorry but i'm looking at the the image and the first thing i'm thinking of is oh you're putting a pair of glasses on him <laughs> <laughs> yes so if if you're obsessed with number of pieces it looks like this is a really good issue of course there yes. are two pieces there they're small and fiddly but there's a lot of pieces that's correct now um now i've noticed that there's no screws with this issue no so i'm i'm quite it's interested nice. to see how the eye sockets are going to go in i think you'll find they get glued in oh, okay then fair enough oh yeah because it did say you will also need some glue yeah you will also need i forgot to look at that i do apologize so you will also need Uh, part eight one the right wrist with fingers and thumb attached thick super glue and a cocktail stick or toothpick in which to apply it now did you use thin super glue last week um yes how did this... you find that went i found it all right okay fair enough yeah, i didn't i yeah i was I'll show you on screen at the moment. Okay. I was meant to go pan and get the other sort as well. Get the you know, get the little tube ones. I must admit, I personally, I don't skimp on skimp thick on super glue. glue. Yeah, exactly. I'm using this one. Is that thin super glue or thick? Um, I'm not sure. I'd have to have a different type to compare it. Right. Or oh, put it this way: Is it runny? Yes, it is running. Yeah, that's thin super glue then. Because the super glue I use is kind of a gel, and and I absolutely love it. If I'm allowed to recommend things on your channel. Well, I've got a range up the road. Yeah. Shop, I need to go up there sometime and get some. See, whereas I have access to Amazon, I'm, I'm just that lazy I can't go shopping anymore. I have to buy it from Amazon and make them bring it to me. Well, it depends how you want to get it, though, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Okay, then. Let's just... Move this all up a bit. Right, so I was just moving things around. Right. All right. Okay, so you will need the faceplate 1 1, which was last worked on in issue 6. And you take the two inner eye sockets, 10 1 and 10 2. The left and the right eye sockets will only fit into the skull one way with the curve of the socket following the corresponding curve of the skull interior or in other words dry fit them first yeah take one and try it and see if it, yeah. that one a bit there don't do the old all oh, that looks right and then stick glue on and then find out it doesn't fit yes it's well i'd rather, I'd rather try, try one and right, when i think that one's right then try the other one and then Well. 
Oh, By me looking at the monitor, it's nice and bright. Me looking at the item, it's not. <laughs> right, okay then. This is the problem with cameras. It doesn't show exactly yeah. what it looks like, but I mean, it looks okay. Do you say those pieces were plastic? Yes. Yeah, it did sound plastic when it dropped on the table. Yes, they're uh, plastic. Right, so is that a good fit? To me, try and find it. It's neither quite right, yes, it's alteration. You know, try and find right. Okay, what's that gone on? Now, oh, where is it? Where is it? Sorry, I'm going to get my big magnifying glass out. Oh, five. So what, are you checking for any gaps or anything? Well, it's either basically it's trying to look at, you know, trying looking at the pins sort of thing and lo locating oh, them. Locating pit pins, is there? Yes. Okay, that's handy. You know, see if it'll go on there. Right, that looks better. So are you finding it's locking into place, or have you just got to find the right place? Try and find the right place. I was making sure I was getting it right, seeing if it is perfectly fitting. Right. Before I decide to start putting some glue on there. Yeah. So I was just having a look at the chat sort of thing and there you go, I was seeing if they'll fit nicely. Um oh, they look fab, don't they? Yes. Yeah, that, to me that looks like Terminator with a pair of glasses on. That's the inside <laughs> view, isn't it? Yes. Um, that, do you know what? That adds a little bit of depth to it, doesn't it? I like that. Yes. I get the eyes. Oh. <sighs> that is more in place of with the eyes okay ah so you're gonna cut out any like any view from the back yes brilliant because didn't someone make a mod about darkening or something but I think with those little pieces in, that probably doesn't need doing. Yes. Right. Step two. You're popular, aren't you? Yeah. Someone has created a group. And we're, we seem to be sending good luck pictures backwards and forwards. 
<laughs> right, step two, please. Step two. So, um, step two is the inside of the faceplate has a locating peg on either side of each eye. The outer edges yeah. of the inner eye sockets have matching holes on either side of the socket. Right, so you're basically placing ah, so you're placing that into a hole. Yes. Right. Okay. Brilliant. So you got little locating pegs. So after aligning the locating pegs and holes, push fit the right inner eye socket two in place. Note how the curve of the eye socket part matches the curve of the face plate. The parts are push fit, but if necessary, apply a small drop of thick super glue to secure that place part in place. And then repeat step three, this time fitting the left inner eye socket. Right. Okay, any bit of glue on this? Now, this one, I could roughly, yeah, I could do a bit of zip glue on this. Yeah, I should have bought the other pack of glue. From yeah. Thank you for the sub, Chris. It's very much appreciated. We kind of went went over to Adrian's channel a little bit short notice because um, last week there were problems, weren't there? I got on the show, but I ended up late, and we just went ahead with the show on on Adrian's channel. But we were we were going to try and do it this week was going to be the first show, but no, we'll get there. Yeah, I, think, that's what I think this is now a new world record, Adrian. We've managed to do two shows consecutive. Yes. Right. That one's in. Well, what I do is I'll probably check it tomorrow. If it comes off, then just dab a bit more glue. Well, usually you find just a little dab of super glue does actually go quite a long way. Well, actually, on my on my hand, that joint there fell apart. Okay. So I thought, all right, I'll put a bit a bit more glue because I might not have, either I didn't glue it or either I didn't put enough glue in there. Nothing, yeah. That's why if you go and glue something, leave it. Yeah, and if you can clamp it, then uh, yeah. clamp it. Well, like if you're gluing something, leave Hello, it 24 Horlicks. hours. How are you? Hello, Horlicks. Yeah, it is on me. Right. That was a lovely little, not quite so small Bella. <laughs> yeah, she's just going to take over every show in the world, I think. Right. Nope. It's trying to get it right. Loc start locating on both pins so you can push it down. Yeah. Oh, Bella was naughty today. So she was obviously getting getting used to the home now. Hey, Chris Campling, how's, how's things? Hi, Chris. I did see that picture you put of that new face app thing. Not a pretty sight, Chris. 
Iya. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I um, I put my face into that and I said, show me what I look like in 40 years and it just showed a pile of dust. Right, that's nice. Glued. Lovely. So is that all we need to do to that? Because I seem to remember last week we had a piece and we talked about clamping it, didn't we? And then it turns out there wasn't anything else to do to it. Yeah, that was... a fingers i think it was yeah. so step five is the inner eye sockets will look like this when fit but obviously you're going to leave it and let that glue set yes I've, well i've fitted i've done them both right so i've gone ahead and done, done them both all right fine so i'm ready whenever you are with the next step right yes So would so you be happy to leave those eyepieces until you actually need them? Um, I've glued them in. As I said, I'll probably check them to see if they anchor enough, and if they haven't, I'll then I'll put right. a bit more glue on them. But this is one of the quite nice things about it. I mean, I've noticed there's a couple of issues now where you're working on two different things at once. Yes. So whereas the previous issue two screws and the whole thing was done this issue you've got two face two eye sockets to put in and then we'll start work on a finger yes right so these fingers look very reminiscent of last week which they would do yes now do you notice i've edited the pictures again i have noticed and they look very smart What's typed in green, which I've altered to the text? Pardon? The writing is in green. Yeah. I've actually... I don't know if it makes sense to everyone. Well, it makes sense to me. But I'm just waiting for the go-ahead from you. Right. And I'll start reading through it. Okay. Right, so step six... Now find right middle finger part parts A, B, and C and lay them out as shown in the photograph along with the connectors 10A and 1010, which obviously are going to actually be 15A, 1510, and 1512, which is the same yeah, connection 15... with a piece. Yeah, sorry, I should change that. Yeah, well, that's all right, it's okay. Um, as with the thumb and first finger you have already assembled, we'll first attach three onto the end of four, following the directions of the yellow arrow, or in this case, blue arrow. So the green text is you will also need one connector sheath 1512, which passes through the join, a small connector bolt 15A, and a connection pin 1510. Fit the sheath onto the bolt and then fit the bolt and sheath through the holes in part four and part five. Makes perfect sense to me. And then step seven is to apply a little bit of glue to the end of the pin 1510. Fix it into the hole in bolt 158. Squeeze the bolt and pin firmly together so they grip parts 10, 4 and 10, 5. Guess. Right, ten three and ten four. I'm going glue again because um, later date you find we'll be end up gluing those yeah. ones on. Okay. <laughs> Chris Davies is now coaxing. Um... Uh, Chris Campbelling into doing a Lego version of Horlicks. Ah, <laughs> <coughs> oh, that's a bit awkward. It's not in the kit, though, is it? No. 
But that's taking your skill level to the next stage, isn't it? Just yes. getting all the bricks and just building something. There's a lot of people do it as well, though. Right. Um... Sorry. So I need, I, as I can't read your little screen, I printed it oh, off. This yeah, side. It was perfect. Do you know, I just thought of an easy way to do a, Le a Lego structure. You can get these uh, cross stitch um, create pattern creators. What you do is you scan a photo in and tell it how many colors you want to use, and then it makes a little pattern. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you followed, instead of crossing a stitch onto a canvas, if you actually used that particular color brick, would that work? There you go, Chris. I've just given you an idea, I hope. <laughs> Lego inspirations. As saying so on, it's a shame where I've got a pair of tweezers where when you squeeze it, it opens it. Okay. Because then basically what you could do then anchor it, then you can't actually now you use pliers and tie off. So I'm just right. Mm -mm -mm. So that's the pin with the sheath on it. No, that's this is um fifteen ten, right? Oh, I see. You're putting the pin bit in first. Now I've already put. I put the plus. Okay. I've already done. Sorry, I've already. You should be a magician. That, that. You should be a magician, Adrian. You've done that with sleight of hand, <laughs> just like that. Yeah. I don't think there'd be enough glue on there, but I'll check it tomorrow. Okay. You can always re glue it, can't you? Yes. If it comes apart tomorrow, then. The thing is, if, you, to... if you use too much glue, you it's going to seep everywhere and you won't be able to position the finger. Yes, exactly. Yes. And to be honest with you, I, I've quite often gone in with the glue and I've deliberately not quite used enough and been really surprised by the results. Right, step eight, please. Right, step eight. If I can find it. Oh, okay, bear with me a sec. Something's just disappeared. So here we have a technical problem here. Normal service may resume later. All right, okay. It decides decide to shut the the, the, uh, the image down, so I've got to find it. All right, so. Step eight. So step eight is take finger part. 10.5, which is the part you've just made, which fits on to 10.4. Uh, you will need a set of connectors, 15.8, 15, 15.12, 15, 15.10. 15, uh, this time, the bolt and sheath should be inserted from the opposite side. When in place, complete the join by applying a little glue to the end of the pin on part 15.10 and fix into the socket on part 15.8. 15, 8. Squeeze the bolt and pin firmly together so that they grip part 10.4 and 10.5. So basically, it's exactly the same as the last stage, except that the pins are, are coming in from the different direction. Correct. Right. Right. I believe this is metal. Okay. The other bigger one is plastic. So here we go. I'm taking the plastic sheath. I am trying to 
fit that onto there. I push it on so far, then so I can actually feed that in through there. And I put the other one, then I finally push that pin all the way through. Hmm. Little push for your screwdriver for good measure. Yes. Is that not going in well? Hang on. Yeah, let me just get the bigger one and give it a whack on the top. Oh, you worry me when you do that. What? Bang. What? I might break something. Yeah. It's just a natural oh. reaction. Yes. That's right. So no, if, you, um, if you move that uh, around, do you think that might loosen it a bit? Or it just, it'll kind oh. of wear it out a little bit? I don't know. It's it's probably just, yes. It, I don't know. It depends if the plastic wears down. It depends what type of plastic it is, though, isn't it? Yeah. Me doing to all the fingers, it depends. Yeah, obviously you don't need to do it where you don't feel it's necessary. Guess the plastic ones could be done for a certain reason. We don't know. Yeah. And probably some of them is. And if we know them out... as well as we think we know them, you will find that there will be parts and you think, oh, my God, that's not really very good. And then about 10, 20 issues down the line, they're like, you're like, oh, yeah, I see why you did it like that now. Yeah. Right. That looks like stage nine. Lovely. So the first two joints of the finger look like this when completed. And that looks something like the piece you're holding. Guess. So is there a stage 10? Oh, there's lots more stages left. I thought there would be. So stage 10. Ah, we need to now take component 10 7 and another set of connectors. 15, 8, 15, 12, 15, 10. Align the holes on parts 10, 7 and 10, 6. And fix together as before, this time inserting the bolt from the top. So basically we're alternating which direction they, they're coming in from. Yes. There we go. It goes that way, not like that, or not not, not like that. It's just like, just, like, just, that. like that. just like this, <laughs> just like that. Not like that. What someone did accidentally. I've, do you know what? I've got to take that one step further. When you get the connectors, I'm going to go bolt, hole, hole, bolt. <laughs> Listen, we may not do the best thing right. in the world, but we'll have fun trying. Yes, exactly. Well, that's what I said to some of my customers today when I had a bus that I didn't think was going to make it. I said, we don't always make it, but we have fun trying. Like wacky mole. Right. right. Of course, I'm using a bigger screwdriver because that is about the size of the tube. Load a little bit, then won't it? Yes. 
Okay, it was all right. I shut my eyes and blocked my ears then, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm the same. I, I'll use whatever I can to get the job done. I may not always do it spot on, but, you know, it gets it done. Yes, and guess what? That pin's come off, so I didn't put enough glue on there. Okay, fair enough. Or probably, or probably I didn't put enough glue, or it's just I just probably knocked it off. But like we said, if you haven't put enough glue on, it'll just come off. If you uh, yeah. put too much on, you're going to risk um, season that joint up. Yes, exactly. Right, I just put that pin back in again. It probably might have been better for probably having thicker glue. That's probably yeah. Probably it what I tend to sort of squeeze into little gaps better, whereas uh, thin glue you can kind of lose control of it. Well, I've got some good news for you, Adrian. When you've completed this finger, you've only got seven digits left to go. <laughs> Right, they're both done. Brilliant. So step eleven is saying your complete middle finger will look like this, and from where I'm sitting, that is exactly how it looks. The same orientation as well. So the numbers we've just added, Chris, the little piece on the end with a with a hole in it is ten, ten seven, and they've been connected with three pieces from issue fifteen. So what Adrian's done is he's bought an extra copy of issue fifteen because he knows the connectors are better than the original ones with with step ten. This is one of the advantages of being behind. Um, Yes, I took issue 15. As that is extra uh, issue three. Yeah. I tried it and I compared them both and think, well, I don't know what the other ones are going to be like. Yeah. So I'm I don't assuming, know what the pins are going to be like. I'm assuming there will be another finger in issue 15. Yes. Where you got the pieces from. Right. Yes. So step 10 looks like we're going to attach that finger to the hand. To no step that's step 12 okay you got him just take the next component 10 7 and a set of connectors 15 8 15 12 and 15 10 have you lost the bottom of the patient pardon no we've just oh hang on yeah no so you... sorry Sorry, I'm reading the wrong numbers. The, what we've just done is assembling that end piece of step 10 and step 11. Yes. And now step 12 is attaching it to the hand. Oh, yeah. I see what I've done, yeah. I've got the picture of step 12. I'm reading the description from, from stage 10. I apologise, that's my bad. Right. So take the hand assembly from issue 14 which is actually not issue 14 and identify the fixing point for the fifth finger on the palm of the hand 8 1 align the holes in parts 10 7 and part 8 1 so part 8 is the the hand yeah, eight one is a hand. Yeah, so we're gonna fit uh, a pin in the bolt. I'm sorry, that's that one. Pin in the hole and a sheath. So pretty much attaching this in exactly the same way as we attach the pieces of the fingers together. Yes. Right. And this, I assume, is a slightly longer finger than the last one we fitted, because it's the middle finger. You need it nice and big so you can hold it up to people. Um, yes, there's one or two parts, but it's yeah. bigger. 
yeah that's what i thought because i'm looking at my own hand and it looked like my i mean obviously the position of my middle finger makes it look a lot longer than my index finger but if i kind of manipulate them so they start at the same point um my index finger isn't a lot short but it's just a little bit shorter yes that one's like bigger that one's like bigger so i'm going to guess that when we do the fourth finger that's going to be longer than the index finger but shorter than the middle finger and set back slightly and then you'll have the okay. little finger which will be all i'm saying that i don't know how cyborgs are built they might have fingers all the same size well we don't know we would have to compare them and um, plus their thumb are different yeah because the thumb is more compared, isn't it compared to ours yeah here you go here's the thumb it yeah. bends like that yeah well the way i gotta bend my thumb that way is i gotta twist it that way yeah then, then it'll go which i can do quite easily but then i think that's because of the position i hold the steering wheel in yes it depends yes it depends what I mean, it's like piano players can do strange things with their fingers that we can't. It's like some people, they can they can bend their thumb all the way back to there. Yeah. I used to be, well, I can't as much, but I used to be able to bend it fairly far back. Not to the point I'm double-jointed. Right. Do you want to lock away? Oh, you're going to do the banging again? Yeah. Okay. I'm looking away and blocking my ears. Oh. but it's taking that bashing though yes so that's okay and plus they're doing it on a rubber mat as well yeah so you probably if they were both class it, it's taken most of the most of that banging anyway yes okay Oh dear. Right. Of course tomorrow I'll probably check fingers just to make sure all the joints are glued. Yeah, no, that's um so you do need a bit of patience with this one really, don't you? Yes. Yeah, I've done done a few models like that where you you can only really do a little bit and then you have to sit and wait and yes but then i kind of i grew up with patience and i think you needed it um com complete change of subject i uh, i do my ancestry and when i first started my ancestry 2001 i began you basically you'd have to go to the library and you'd spend hours and hours and hours of research and if you were really lucky, you maybe got one name out of it and maybe a date of birth. Um, whereas these days, I'm looking on Ancestry.com and I'm seeing so many um, family trees that are quite small and haven't been touched in years. And, you know, I spoke to a few people about this. I think people are impatient. They want... They want to click on a button and their entire family tree just pops up in front of them. Now, with, a, with, with later records, that is the case. But then you have to, as you get further back, you have to do a bit of work. And I think a lot of people are like, oh, hang on. Yeah, I've got to do some work now. It's no longer fun. I'm giving this up. Yes. Right. So that is looking really good. Right, as that looks like. So you basically have a basic robot hand now, because a basic hand has two fingers and what we would call a thumb. Guess. So the job now really is to turn that from a robot to a cyborg. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, that's really good. I really like that. I'm 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 quite jealous. So it's saying that this is how your hand should look. And it, it looks like one of those claw machine games. Yes. You know, I just I want to sort of run it over my table and try and pick things off the table. Now, obviously, with, with an extra two fingers, it'll, well, it'll look brilliant. So it says stage and complete. And your two new components should look like this. Store them safely. You'll be adding more elements to both very soon. Claw grabber. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, now I really, I do really like that. Yeah, I'm impressed with those. Obviously, a lot of thought gone into this model. Yes, there's hand and there's face, yes. Hmm. And where they actually put that is, it's down to, they probably planned that in the beginning. It's probably down to when to put in within the build. Yeah, I mean, from what I've seen so far, I don't have an issue with the order. Um, some people might, and I would give them a case, but last, the previous issue, there wasn't a load to do. But again, you've you've got to, always got to find this balance between the end of the day, harsh or a company out to make money. So if they're going to give you, for example, bigger bits, then you're going to have less to do because if they gave you more, they wouldn't make money on the issue. Um, but like, yeah. but like this issue, there's lots of small fiddly bits. So you're naturally going to say this is a better issue than last issue because there was more to do. But I think, I, I think actually um, I'm going to be quite critical. Once you've added a finger to the hand, it's looking quite good. When you add, the second third and fourth hand it's looking okay but because it's not finished it's not looking brilliant once you add that fifth finger then it'll look absolutely amazing because now it's it's complete does that make sense yes yeah. yeah. so the head isn't finished yet so we're not we're not prepared to say oh that's impressive but if you sort of stop and think about it will it's becoming impressive yes so the final page is so what we're getting in the next final page class. is are you cheating and showing us the next issue then right so in next week's issue which will actually be next week assemble joints of the terminator's endoskeleton's neck so we've started on the neck, haven't we? Have we? Yes, yeah, so we did top of the neck sort of thing. Right. So, this, so. This, this is going to add to it then? Yes. Well, I think we might do a bit of the jaw. Right. Okay. So Chris Campling is saying with servo and motor. Right. I'm yeah, that's issue 21. And for everyone to see, that is next week's issue. Brilliant. So, how did you find those two issues? I, you know, um, I found not too bad. So far, I'm finding nothing's tricky at the moment, I'm finding. But did you find... Except for the, Except for putting the eyes things in. Yeah, I know she was struggling was like... with those, but I was I was happy with what you did with that because it looked to me like you were giving it a lot of care and attention. You want this to be at the best that you can do. So I'm if that means taking a little bit longer, I'm quite happy to watch it. Yes, it's um chris campling's asking if we're gonna do two next week um shall we tell him the little surprise or should we just go yes we're doing two next week yes we 
guess we'll probably be doing two next week. Okay. I'll leave it at that then. Yeah. Um, obviously, one of the factors with this show is just like my Root Master and the 3D print show that I do, I can only do three shows every four weeks. Um, but the way that my days work off, work, the way that my days work is I have one early shift, one very early shift. So, for example, today I did a very early, which means I can almost guarantee to make the show. I've got one late shift, which means I miss the show. And then I've got one day off. And the beauty with the Friday is that I get the Friday and the Saturday off. So I'm not in a rush to finish the show to get to bed for work the next day. So, um, and even on the Saturday show, I'm not in a rush because when I have, again, I've got a Saturday show with a day off the next day. So, um, well, at the moment, I'm planning trying to do two issues. Yeah, I, I, I'll do them anyway. We're, we're talking about maybe doing three, but really that's going to depend on how long they take. So yes. we'll, we'll definitely say we're going to do two next week. But that, that is a certainty, and there will be no rush for me or anything like that. Because <coughs> I'm on my long weekend. Hey! I, I cannot honestly remember the last time I had four days off. <coughs> I've got to work for it, though, because my last day off was yesterday, and my next day off is going to be next Friday. So I've got to do seven days on the trot. So, and then I'll be doing seven days following, but four days off. Yes. Mm. So I forgot to change the settings. Like, so when you talk, it goes on to you. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. So I must admit, it's, it feels a little bit odd to be on the other side of the controls because I'm not actually 100% sure um what the view is and i do have a little bit of control freak in me and the fact that i can't control the screens uh, it's something that i'm learning to live with but i'm like oh i want to flick the screens <laughs> As perhaps, perhaps we should actually have a uh, site password sort of thing no you don't want to give me passwords <laughs> So, well, it's like slack, that's like, slack like reminder thing, but yeah. Uh, Chris Camping got a new mic, so sound might be better on Monday. Um, I will certainly try to watch that show on Monday. Um, but I'm I'm doing an early on Monday, so I should be able to make it. Um, did I pop in Monday? I think I did pop in for a bit on Monday, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did, but then I just fell asleep so. But unfortunately, that's my life now. Um, I'm very happy with what I'm doing. It's um, money-wise, it means I'm going to be um, better off. I'm not going to be filthy rich, but it means my bills are going to get paid. Um, I have this habit of just as I'm about to pay off my overdraft, something happens like um, Amazon Prime Day or something, so or a new print is needed. So I'm actually looking at my balance for this week. I got paid yesterday and I'm looking at my balance and I'm thinking, yeah, I can afford a new 3D printer. And then the sensible side kicks in and go, look, try and keep that 150 available and then buy it next week when you get paid again. Yes, this is because if something happens and you think, oh dear. Next week is the big one. Next week is the first week that I get paid as a spare and i did 55 hours and um this week i'm actually two hours short of what i did last week with another day to go because when i'm on late so i don't get as many hours because the business stops at a certain time of day whereas um when you work early you you know the business is still going when you finish work i've been averaging well you work it out i've got I've got 53 hours in in five in four days. So what's that about 12 to 13 hours a day? 
and it's great i'm actually doing less driving than i was before the, the hard bit is just sitting there on standby and doing nothing that that is actually the hardest part of my job so um and it is harder than i make it out because um when you stop you have a tendency to sort of wind down and then all of a sudden you get given a couple of trips to do and suddenly you got to pick yourself up again and and that is actually harder than it sounds so um guess so as, as i said to somebody the other day i said here is my my um my spare drive spare roster starter kit and i had two packets of pro plus um so it's it's really sometimes it's a case of when you get given some work you're like hang on a sec cut the pro plus and, and a drink of water um so chris is saying that he loves the shows on here and looking forward to start yeah chris davies is starting the jag build um i've actually ordered the jag as well um chris um yeah um chris campling's asking chris davies if he'd do the jag on youtube um and chris says yeah so if you want some help with that chris um i don't know where you'd stand on live builds um i i'm not over keen on doing more live builds because i'm really spreading myself thin and obviously i've got my own videos to do um but if anybody wants any help starting videos um i'm more than happy to help where i can i'm not the best youtuber in the world but i know the uh, i know the basics so um although we just done a lot of work with um with certain bits and bobs on your videos haven't we adrian yes um i always find with youtube it's all about the keywords you need to look at things that um people will be searching on so that includes putting incorrectly spelt words in in your keywords if you've got a word that's commonly spelt incorrectly you know someone's going to search on that and you want your results to come up um and you want it as close to being clickbait as you can without it being clickbait so um i've got adrian to put things like um actors names in in the keywords so for example somebody does a search on arnold schwarzenegger you know maybe they're looking for a youtube video about the governor of of california they may then get the result of, of, of the build for the Terminator. And hopefully then they'll go, oh, what's that? Well, I'll give that a look. And then the rest is down to the quality of the video that Adrian produces. Yes. So as we finish, shall we call it the night? Yeah, if you, if you want to, if everybody else is happy as well. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. I mean, obviously, I'm not the one building it. The final say goes to you, Adrian. But I I like that build, and I quite like doing the two issues. Um, me personally, I wouldn't have liked the issue, the first issue, if that was the only one. Um, so putting the two, but on my own route master, what I tend to do is when I look at an issue, I look at the the previous issue as well. And then I sort of average the two. So I'd be happy yeah. with those two. I'd be happy with both those issues. So, yeah. So it's good night from me. Okay. And it's good night from him.